Hi students, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. If you like this video, please click the like button, share and subscribe. In this video, I am explaining the solution of exercise 4.1, chapter 4, principle of mathematical induction, question number 19. N into N plus 1 into N plus 5 is a multiple of 3. See, this is a different question compared to question number 1 to 17. Here, they have not given left hand side and right hand side or here there is no inequality. Instead of that, directly the statement is given in the form of sentence. So now, let us solve this. Let us say that the given statement is P of N. So we have here N into N plus 1 into N plus 5 is a multiple of 3. So the first step is we have to prove the given statement for n is equal to 1. So to prove that we have here p of 1. Here I am considering the statement directly n into n plus 1 into n plus 5. So in this place wherever you have n replace that with the value 1. So we have here this is equal to 1 into 1 plus 1 which is 2, 1 plus 5 which is 6. So this is equal to 12. See now here we got the value 12. So what we have to check is they have given in the sentence that this value after calculating this one whatever final answer you get that is a multiple of 3 that we have to check. See here we got the answer 12. This 12 I can write as 3 into 4. That means now I can say that this 12 is a multiple of 3. So now the statement is true for n is equal to 1 because we got here the answer which is a multiple of 3. Then the second step is here we have to take some positive integer k and we have to assume that the given statement is true for that positive integer. So p of k where wherever you have n replace that with the value k. So we get here p of k statement which is k into k plus 1 into k plus 5 is equal to c. Here, I am not writing that sentence is a multiple of 3. Instead of that, I will just put the value. Multiple of 3 means what? For example, here, see, we got the answer 12, which is a multiple of 3. This 12, I am writing as 3 into some number, which becomes the multiple of 3. In the same way, if you have some other numbers, let us say that you have 15. That 15 you can write as 3 into 5. Or if you have a number 30, then you can write that as 3 into 10. So, or if you have a number like uh, 6, then you can write that as 3 into 2. So everywhere, the first value is 3 only and the second value changes. So if you multiply any number to this 3, then that becomes a multiple of 3. Right. So that's why instead of writing in the form of sentence, directly I am writing one value that is 3 into a. This a is some number that you are multiplying with 3 so that you get some answer and that becomes the multiple of 3. So I am writing like this way and in this place I have taken here a. There is no specific reason to take a. You can take here any variable a, b, m, n, anything. As n, m, if I take that may become confusion because here n already we are using. So that's why that is the reason that I have taken a. You can take here any variable. Let us say that that is 3 into some variable that is a. Now uh, let us say that this is statement 1 and this particular p of k statement further we will simplify that is so that we can use in the later case. See if I multiply this one with this we get here k into k k square plus k into 1 k into k plus 5 is equal to 3a. Again multiply this value with this. So we have here k square into k which is k cube k square into 5 that is 5k square k into k k square plus k into 5 which is 5k is equal to 3a. Then k cube 5k square plus k square which is 6k square plus 5k is equal to 3a. Now this is our assumption. Next in the step 3, now we have to prove that the given statement is also true for p of k plus 1. So first to prove that, first let us write the statement in the form of p of k plus 1. That is, see here, 
This is a P of K statement to write in the form of P of K plus 1. Wherever you have K, replace that with the value K plus 1. So, P of K plus 1, here we have K, make that as K plus 1 into this place. Here we have K, which is K plus 1 plus 1, this one I am writing. Then K, that is K plus 1 plus 5 is equal to, again, this value is also a multiple of 3. So, that's why, again, I am writing in the form of value, that is 3 into some variable. Here, I am taking the va different variable. I am not taking the same variable because, see, this is a P of K statement and this is different statement, P of K plus 1 statement. So, let us say that that variable is B. Here also, you can take any variable name. So, 3 into B which says that the given value is a multiple of 3 because if you multiply any number to the 3 to the value 3 then definitely it becomes a multiple of 3 only now here see uh, in the previous problems and all in the equality statements we used to take the left hand side and then we were reaching to the right hand side so we, here also we apply the same method so i will consider the left hand side of p of k plus 1 statement so the left hand side is this one let us take that k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 this becomes k plus 2 right then k plus 1 plus 5 which becomes k plus 6 again multiply this value with this so we get here k into k k square k into 2 2k 1 into k k 1 into 2 that is 2 into k plus 6 then this becomes k square 2k plus k that is 3k plus 2 into k plus 6 then again further let us uh, simplify this one by multiplying with the k plus 6 so we have here k square plus 3k plus 2 into k plus 6 so multiply this with this so we have here k square into k that is k cube then 3k into k that is 3k square 2 into k that is 2k then multiply this value with 6 we have here k square into 6 6k square, k square, in uh, 3k into 6, 18k, then 2 into 6, which is 2 value. So, now we have this value, see. Again, further, this is nothing but k cube, then 6k square plus uh, 3k square, which we can say 9k square. Then we have here 2k plus 18k, which is 20k plus 2 value we have. So, what I do is, in the previous case, we have simplified the P of K statement and we have this value, right? So, I will try to replace this value in this particular uh, statement. So, that's why this 18K plus uh, 2K we have, that is, which is 20K, that I am writing in the form of 15K plus 5K, which is nothing but 20K only. So, uh, first we have here K cube plus, uh, let us write this 6K square here plus 5k I am writing. Then we have the remaining value 3k square plus 15k plus 12. See, here in this particular statement, we have actually the value k cube plus 3k square plus uh, 6k square plus we have 18k plus 2k. This I am taking as 20k plus we have the remaining value. So now, I want to get this particular value so that I can replace the value of 3a here. So that's why what I do is I just take this one k cube. Then here also we have 6k square. Then this 20k I am splitting as 15k plus 5k so that I can take 5k here. So k cube plus 6k square plus 5k. Then the remaining value plus 3k square 15k plus 12. Now from 1, from our assumption, see this one we can replace with the value 3a because we know that k cube plus 6k square plus 5k is equal to 3a. So just replace that value here. So we have here 3a plus 3k square plus 15k plus 12. Again further, see this is nothing but multiple of 3 only. We have here 3. 3 5s are 15, 3 4s are 12. So you can take here 3 as a common value out. So 3a plus 3 if I take out, we have the remaining value as k square plus 5k plus 4. Then again from this term and this term, again further you can take 3 out. So 3 if I take out, here we have remaining value as k a plus 
k square plus 5k plus 4. See, this particular value we have, whatever it may be, it may be some large number or small number. If you multiply any value with the 3, then definitely that becomes a multiple of 3 only. That means here we reach to the solution. That is, we got here 3 into some number. 3 into, and these are, see, k square or k and a, all these are the natural numbers. This They represent natural numbers. That means you may get some number here. That number you are multiplying with 3. So, that becomes a multiple of 3 only. So, in the p of k plus 1 statement, we need to uh, prove that uh, the value is a multiple of 3 and we reach to that particular solution here. So, now let us say that this is our b. So, 3b that is nothing but p of k plus 1 statement. Therefore, here now we can say that the p of k plus 1 statement is true whenever the statement p of k is true. Hence, by principle of mathematical induction, now we can say that the statement p of n is true for all the set of natural numbers. Thanks for watching.